All right, folks, this has all been captured and photographed, so we're going to clear the board. And I have a ton of awesome glory <clears throat> now to share. <clears throat> Starting with the word lawyer. <laughs> and I have that divine word from Jehovah, start with lawyer. <laughs> Number of letters divides by three. The whole sentence adds to 222 two, two perfectly. And this is fun. Oh, I want to keep that up there. That's one thing I want to... Uh, talk about. There's a few things I'm going to leave on the top of the board here that uh, I want to uh, preach on in this video. So I'll just leave them up there as a reminder until we get through them. Okay. <laughs> but we are going to start with lawyer. The question everyone wants to know is, can you find love in your lawyer? <laughs> and the answer is yes, you can. If you can't find love in your lawyer, where can you find love? Well, watch this. This will blow your mind. Lawyer contains love right at the dead center. And those are precisely all the letters that do not divide by three. Good night. <laughs> and that is exactly identical to Christ, <laughs> which has love right at the center in six letters. There you go. I've just proven mathematically that every, every lawyer is supposed to know Christ. And that Christ is love. Christ is God. <laughs> can you find love in your lawyer? Yes, you can. If you can't find love in your lawyer, where can you find love? <laughs> well, it's right in the center. Okay? So these two make 24, these two make 30, or you can go these two vowels make 6, these two make 48. All together they make 54 perfectly at the dead center, and then the L and the R are the only two letters that divide by 3 individually, 12 and 18 together they make 30 perfectly to make the grand total of 84. There you go. <laughs> so we found love in your lawyer. Now this is going to get really fun. <laughs> We're going to go through a bunch of occupations now, <laughs> and I'm already laughing, okay? <laughs> So, we found love in your lawyer. Now, can we find love in your doctor? Of course we can. If you can't find love in your doctor, where can you find love? <laughs> doctor. Divides by three, and here's love. Bam. Love. Plus another C in our 21 points. There you go. We found love in your doctor. But the question everyone wants to know is, can we find love in your teacher? <laughs> if we can't find love in your teacher, where can we find love? Of course we can. <laughs> teacher, pull out the A and the E. The rest of all this equals love in a nice little triune fashion. There you go, we just found love in your teacher. <laughs> but the question everyone really wants to know is, can we find love in your chiropractor? If we can't find love in your chiropractor, where can we find love? Chiropractor divides by three perfectly. Oh yeah, speaking of doctor, can we find love in your nurse? Of course we can. If you can't find love in your nurse, where can you find love? These three letters right here equal love. And this is of course part of the root of nursing, nurses, nurse, and the R divides by three. Genius. So all those derivatives divide by three. There, we found love in your nurse. <clears throat> and can we find love in your dentist? Let's get that. If you can't find love in your dentist, where can you find love? You better find love in your dentist. DTN equals love. And then you got more. Okay. Now chiropractor. <laughs> Can you find love in your chiropractor? <laughs> chiropractor divides by three. Okay, And uh, you got all these nines here. Put the P and the T, make uh, four nines. The H and the A make nine. The rest of the letters all divide by three. But let's keep them in nines as much as possible. Nine, double nine, double nine, double nine. Put a C and an O together to make uh, double nine. And then another C and an O together to make double nine. <laughs> I'm telling you, you can find more love in your chiropractor than anyone else on earth. You better find love in your chiropractor because he's snapping your bones. <laughs> and of course the word bone divides by three. 
If you don't find love in your chiropractor, you better leave. Um, but I'm actually shocked by how many nines there are in chiropractors. So let's get them all on the board, all the numbers on the board. So there's 18, there's a nine, there's a 36, uh, here's an 18, here's a nine, here's an 18, um, and then here's an 18, and here's an 18. <laughs> wow! Somebody say wow. There's so much love in your chiropractor, it's not even funny. <laughs> like this is officially the most loaded occupation for love that there is. <laughs> the chiropractor. I mean, you just say that word and I get happy. I believe the whole thing adds to something ridiculous, like 12 times 12. Like, uh, let's see, so this is 36 plus, that's 72, plus another 36 is uh, 108 plus another. Yes, chiropractor adds perfectly to 144, 12 times 12. Composed of like pure nines. Letter for, how many letters? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. <laughs> Chiropractor equals 12 times 12 in 12 letters. <laughs> Woo! So if you can't find love in your chiropractor, uh, we, need you send, we need to send you to the uh, optometrist, or the eye doctor, <laughs> in order to get your eyes fixed. Um, or a mathematician. Mathematician equals love plus love plus nine. Okay? <laughs> He'll teach you to do the numbers. Okay. Uh, so chiropractor, look, I mean, it's embarrassing how many loves there are in chiropractor because love divides by nine, love is good night. I mean, I, I don't even need to say anymore. It's love plus love plus another uh, 36 points. So you could pop off that 36 right there, from the P and the T, and then three 18s makes love, and then another three 18s makes love, and then you got a silly number of combinations, like a silly, 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 silly number of combinations to make love and chiropractor. Wow. And then of course the word bone divides by three. Bone equals 36, a double of 18. I mean, that's what they work with. This is incredible. Um, so we have uh, <clears throat> 21 plus 15. Yeah, bone is 36, double 18. <laughs> so put the word chiropractor together with bone, you get more nines and just, there you go. <laughs> That's a, that's a huge one. Okay. There you go. We just found a whole ton of love in your chiropractor. But the question everyone really wants to know is, can we find love in your psychologist? If you can't find love in your psychologist, where can you find love? So let's find love in your psychologist. Psychologist divides by three. Okay. And then I want to solve surgeon. We want to find love in your surgeon, too, because if you're going into surgery, you better make sure you find love in your surgeon. <laughs> okay. So, can you find love in your psychologist? <laughs> I hope so. Um, yeah, I'm just going to do it very easily based on ones I recognize. ST plus an O makes a love. And then let's go put this Y and this H together to make... Um, Make 33 plus this L and I to make another love. So we got two loves already. And then we got uh, G plus 23 plus 42 plus another um, 42. And then we got another 60 points on top. So we got love plus love plus love plus six. I believe a psychologist is 168. And then so when you stick the word the in front, it becomes the famous 201 of world history, the full birth name of the first man on the moon, and Walt Disney, and Bill Gates' his full birth name, and the birth name of his father, the full birth name of the first man to fly faster than the speed of sound, the designer of the Christ the Redeemer statue, Rio de Janeiro, uh, Hans Zimmer, Jim Henson, the creator of the Muppets, Britney Spears is 201. Okay, <clears throat> uh, John Lennox, uh, a famous um, Christian apologist who speaks like four or five different languages fluently is 201. Um, so can you find love in your psychologist? Well, technically we can find three loves plus an extra six points, but uh, you cannot pop off just six points out of psychologists, so we did well in finding love plus love and the additional 60 on top. So we found love in uh, the psychologist. <laughs> um, and so yeah, that's so cool, the psychologist. That's the 201. Um, 
<clears throat> in exactly 12 letters again. So a psychologist divides by 12 in 12 letters. Um, in fact, it's 24 points higher than a chiropractor. So go to your chiropractor, go to your psychologist. Oh, we need to solve a masseuse because they are some of my favorite people or massage therapists. We'll solve a masseuse as well. Can you find love at the masseuse? Of course you can. <laughs> if you can't find love at the masseuse, then where can you find love? Um, <laughs> we're going to send you all over town, honey, until you get the love you need. Okay, um, so uh, psychologist is done, so we found love in your psychologist. Let's find love in... Um, wait for it. Wait for it. Oh, it's easy to find love in police officers and all that stuff. Okay, um, so surgeon. Can you find love in your surgeon? I should hope so. Um, well, you got the word sun. As in, the sun in the sky equals love perfectly. I'm already thrilled. And then you got 12 plus 15 plus 18. Wow. And you got three combos that go up in threes to make 45 on top of that. Wow. So surgeon equals 99. Now you know why Wayne Gretzky wore 99s for the glory of the Trinity. And when you speak 99 in English text, that divides by 3. 99. So we found love in your surgeon. <laughs> I should hope so. Um, <clears throat> uh, is there another way we want to do it? Um, GN21 plus... You can go... Oh yeah, you can, oh, yeah, you can get the famous letters OUR. O-U-R. Our Father who art in heaven. Oh, that was worth the price of admission. Oh, it's so beautiful, it's painful. That was worth waiting for. Look at that. Revelation. Awesome. Put to, grab. Look at, there's only three letters in surgeon that divide by three, and by divine ornaments, they equal hour, which equals love. There you go. Three letters in surgeon divide by three. Put them together, they equal love. Wow. Then the famous O-U-R. 15 plus 18 plus 21 going up in threes, averaging 18. Surgeon, and then you got 12 in the center, flying to 33 to add 45 points on top of that to equal 99. So, the question everyone wants to know is, can I find love in my surgeon? Of course you can. <laughs> if you can't find love in your surgeon, who can you find love in? Okay. <laughs> and on we go. Um, okay. Wow. So, surgeon has been solved. Can we find the... Uh, <laughs> Can we find love in the mayor? <laughs> the mayor of Langley, Jack Froese, whose name divides by three by Divine Lawrence. I got that gem from the newspaper I delivered. Um, and he is a newly elected mayor. Um, he's also a Christian man, thank goodness. Um, <clears throat> mayor. Can you find love in the mayor? I should hope so. We're sending you all over town, honey. If you can't find love in your mayor, where can you find love? Well, let's go to the mayor. Excuse me, Mayor, I'm in need of love. Someone told me I could find love in the mayor, and certainly I could. Here it is, the first four letters equals love. And then R is like a cherry on top. To make it 72 perfectly, a triple of triple X. Can you find love in your mayor? Of course you can. If you can't find love in your mayor, who can you find love in? Okay. Can you find love in the monarch? Queen Elizabeth? I sure hope so. If you can't find love in your monarch, who can you find love in? <laughs> okay. And then we're going to do prime, <clears throat> prime Minister, which incidentally is 168. And so when you say the Prime Minister, you get the famous 201 of world history. Okay. Just like uh, Prime Minister equals psychologist. <laughs> there you go. Okay. Prime Minister equals psychologist. Um, so can you find love in the monarch? I should hope so. Um, it's sitting right in the center, right here. <laughs> Once again, sitting right in the center. There it is, right there. And actually, what's even more amazing about the word monarch, I mean, there's love right there. But the letters that do divide by 3 equal 36. And the letters that don't divide by 3 equal 36. And 36 plus 36 equals mayor, equals 72 or triple or triple eight. So let's add that to the glory pot. O-R-C equals 36, and then M-N-A-H equals 36. Good night. Okay. 
So we just found love in the monarch. Thank God. <laughs> you want a monarch that's full of love. That is to say, you want a monarch that's full of Christ and truth. Um, and by the way, this is why this phrase that we say, can you find love in, that divides by three. And it, can we find love in, that divides by three. Can you find love in, that divides by three. I wanted to mention that one. And, uh, and then, can you find love on the, <clears throat> in, in the internet? Yes, you can. TTN equals love. Can you find truth on the internet? Yes, you can. It's really beautiful. Okay? The internet should be an agent for truth, which is what these videos are. Can you find truth on the internet? Yes, you can. Take every letter except the R in the middle, and you get truth. 39 for net, 39 for another net, plus the I in front, 87. There, we just found truth on the internet, and of course the internet divides by three, stunningly, like massively. <clears throat> so, can you find truth on the internet? Yes, you can. <laughs> You're watching some right now, okay? <laughs> um, um, so, <laughs> let's keep going. Um, and uh, I'm going to write some other titles here, husband. Husband equals Jehovah. Okay, Jehovah is your husband if you are a Christian. Jehovah God is betrothed to the church. So we're going to find love in your husband in a second. But can you find love in your masseuse? I sure hope so. Um, 21 plus, let's see. Ah, here we are. 33 points there plus 21 there. There you go. And that's really cool. Watch this. So we found love already in masseuse. Um, and uh, actually what would be and then you've got a pair of SEs which is 24 triple eight on top of that so literally it's love plus triple eight plus triple eight <laughs> to the glory of Jesus equals hey, hey. So a masseuse is certainly an agent of love um, can you find love in your masseuse? yes sirree Bob um, okay perfect and then um, there, uh, plus one, plus one. Um, okay, good. So, and then can you find love in the Prime Minister? I hope so. I hope so. I hope so. I hope so. Let's do nines. Triple nine, 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 double nine, double nine, nine, double nine, four nines, and then 24, triple eight. So let's get all the and then once you found all the nines, love is just easy to put together. Nine, nine, eighteen. Get all the numbers on the board. There, everyone's been accounted for. So just cluster together the nines to make fifty fours at will. Um, and uh, there you go. So we easily found love in Prime Minister. <laughs> okay. So. <clears throat> you can pick three 18s, you got a bunch of I's, I mean, look at the three I's, I mean, it's the most repeated letter is I. So 9 plus 9 plus 9, bonus points if you can find 27s, because that's the first and second half of love. So 9 plus 9 plus 9, 27. You know, and then add 27, that's love number 1. And then, you know, you can put an 18 with a 36, you can put the three 18s together, yeah, 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 yeah. So, you can find love plus love plus 60 points with all these 9s and stuff like that. Okay. So we found love in the Prime Minister. Um, <clears throat> can we find love in the police? I hope so. If we can't find love in the police, we're really going to be hosed. Okay? And hosed divides by three. Just, just think of getting sprayed with water. That's all I mean. <laughs> so, police is a real obvious one. Every letter in the center divides by three, and the bookends make 21. So I sure hope we can find love in the police, well, we just did. Um, you've got L-O in there, which equals 27, and you've got another 9 here, and you've got 3, and you've got 21 here. I'm already happy. <coughs> police adds to 60 perfectly in 6 letters. Genius. And you cannot pop that 6 points off to get a 54 exactly, but it's screaming out 3 like crazy. So we found love in the police, and then if you add the word officers, that's really obvious because Every single letter divides by three. And then you get a 24, triple eight here, and then uh, nine like that. In fact, this is disturbing now. 
look at what we have now achieved in police officers. We've got pure nines. Watch this. Okay. Um, I is nine. O and C is double nine. And then R is double nine. And then two Fs. Well, you can put this F, you know, two Fs plus E, R, S makes um, 36 quadruple nine. Okay. So the word officer is all by itself. Officers of any sort divides by, um, and it's love plus half a love. O officers of 81, and then so you can just work that in and get so much love in police officers, it's not even funny. Okay. Um, <laughs> wow. The question everyone really wants to know is, <laughs> can you find love in horses? Of course you can. The root of horse is right here. 33 plus 27, 60, so horses divides by 3, and then horsing around divides by 3, horse, and horseology divides by 3, because you take the quarter of the root, um, and offset. And, um, okay. Back to human occupations. <laughs> um, um, oh, husband. We didn't, uh, we failed to talk about that. Can you find love in your husband? I sure hope so. <laughs> If you can't, why'd you marry him? Okay. Um, can you find love in your husband? I sure hope so. Okay. Here's 27. There's 18 back in here. Here's 21 right here. Here's 3 right there. The whole thing adds 2. 48 plus 21. Oh, yeah, Jehovah. 69. So we need to drop 15 points in order to get love. So let's pull off how many different ways. I already see the A and the N would be the easiest, most obvious way to do that. I'm just seeing if there's any other ways. Uh, I believe that's that may be the only way. Yeah. So pop off the A and 15 points, and now the rest of the letters will equal love perfectly. Now let's see if we can achieve some good nines here. Oh, of course we can. We just found them. So this is, this is the beautiful way of looking at husband. Pop off the 15, now you're left with love. And there's 27 right there. And now these guys make another 27, the two halves of love. Perfect. There you go, 27 plus 27 in your husband. There you go. And then, of course, when we talk about your husband, the famous word our equals love coming off your lips right there. So love plus love. You know. Okay. Um, so, can we find love in your husband? <laughs> yes, we can. <laughs> 27 plus 27 plus 15, love, right there. Husband equals Jehovah. Jehovah is your spiritual husband, if you are a Christian. Yes, he is full of love. He is love. Uh, that's, that's a great one. Okay. Husband. Um, all right, he had. <laughs> can we find love in the universe? Of course we can. If you can't find love in this universe, <laughs> where are you going to find love? <laughs> you better find love in this universe. Um, now remember the word university equals love plus love plus love, and you can find the three loves. <laughs> if you can't find love in this university, you probably need to go to Holy Ghost. If you can't find love in this universe, you probably need to go to the Holy Ghost University. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So, we've already done this essentially because we found love and the three loves in university, so it's not hard for us to do an N. Look, it's at the very center of the universe. Ooh, that was worth the price of admission. This is the first time I've recognized that. Look at that. Can you find love in the universe? <laughs> Can you find love in this universe? The question everyone wants to know from the day that they're born is, can I be loved? in this universe. Will I find love in this universe? Can you find love in the universe? Of course you can. <laughs> Here's 27, right in the center. The two dead center letters of the universe make 27, first half of love, and then the two letters flanking it, which divide by 3, equal the other 27. Wow. I I'm already completely satisfied. Now, of course, that perfectly parallels Christ, which has love at the dead center, in the 27 plus 27. Let's, let's just do this explicitly here for the glory of Christ by putting the word Christ right underneath the word universe. Okay? So you can see the dramatic 
parallelism. R and the I at the center of Christ equals 27, and then the H and the S flanking that equals 27. So at the dead center of the universe is love, 27 plus 27. At the dead center of Christ is love, 27 plus 27. Somebody say, wow, this is the first time in world history that this was ever revealed to any man or person on the face of the earth. And the current date and time for historic purposes is 12.13 p.m., April 27th. How fitting that it is the 27th today. April 27th, 2015, 3 times 3 times 3. Okay? Um, and... Uh, then, a second love that you can find in the universe, and I always like actually explicitly recording the time when I mention that, so that you can see where I look at the time on the computer in the name of love, so you can see the love sticker right there, which is 27 plus 27. So back, back we come now. Okay. And remember, computer equals love plus love plus three in stunning beauty. Perfect. Okay, so... Um, now, a second love in the universe is these guys right here. Nice little rainbow to make 33 with the N and the S, plus the U in the front. 21 plus 33 equals love number 254. Okay. And you can now see that that is the root of universes and universality and universal studio, you know, universal and university. See, the root is right up until the S. Anything that comes after that is a branch. Well, the root is love plus love, and we found the two loves. So, the question that everyone wants to know is, can you find love in this universe? Of course you can. If you can't find love in this universe, where are you going to find love? <laughs> There's nowhere else for you to go. <laughs> it's just like, you better find it in this universe, uh, because there ain't another one. All right. Um, <laughs> you better find love in Christ, because there ain't another one. He is the only God, and he's the only way to heaven. Okay. Um, <laughs> simultaneously, we've, we've proven that Christ created the universe. And grade one children can do the math. Somebody clap three times. <laughs> to the glory of the Trinity. That was worth the price of admission. <laughs> that was worth all the patience in the world. And, and then now sit and stay a while. Look at that. The R and the I you know, 9 and 18, swapped places. They came in, they were inside with Christ, and then they just pushed outwards and got, you know, the VE of love right there went in, and then HS. Look at that. Just whew, 27, the letters that do divide by 3 like that, letters that don't divide by 3. So there's this intimacy. There's always this beautiful interlocking for maximum intimacy, like if you were to draw lines in between these. In fact, better yet, the R crosses places. So literally, the R and the I are also cross-braided. Like if we draw lines on this. You'll see the intimacy through, like, the the, 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 um, the ropes, branding, like, cross-braiding cross in, their, in the way they switch position. Um, beautiful. Uh, and then the E is the lower value of these two letters, just like the H. So these don't make a, a multiple of three, but they are the lower value of the pair that makes 27 in each case. And then the V is the higher value. In fact, this is exceptional, because the V is three points higher than the S. And the H is three points higher than the E. Stunning. So it's literally cross-braided. So we've just aligned Christ and the universe, and there's this gorgeous, intimate cross-braiding of threes that ties it all together. Look at that. Stare at that. Can I zoom in for you? Of course I can. Zoom divides by three. Look at that. Can you find love in Zoom? Of course you can. Zoom equals love plus 15. Zoom equals Jehovah. So I just zoomed in the name of love. Look at that perfect cross-linking between the universe and Christ. This is history in the making. And grade one children can do the math. Astonishing. So, um, let's uh, just make sure we get the whole board on screen there. Just, that's uh, about right, like there. Come on. I like getting things fairly centered. There. Um, that is stunning. <laughs> that is riveting. And whatever other word you could choose. Amazing. Now, of course, you can 
cross-link these words to make love. So look at that. So now, what, look what else you can do. You can uh, put this, uh, put the E and S together to equal 24, a multiple of 3. Put the V and H together to make 30 points exactly. And then that makes love, obviously. And then the I and R and R and I make love. So you can cross braid these to get love, love, you know. That is stunning beyond reason. I testify by the living God that we are the first people on planet Earth to behold this perfection and this beauty to the glory of the Trinity. We've just proven mathematically that Christ made the universe and the universe exists for the glory of Christ. And this can be taught in all of our schools worldwide. Okay. By the way, all of this is being written down with Expo Marker. Expo divides by three and Marker divides by three. And uh, I just wanted to throw the word Zoom up there. Zoom. Zoom in. Can you find love in Zoom? Yeah. You got 39 from Z plus M. And then you got pick an O for a final 15. There's your love. Zoom equals Jehovah. <laughs> Very obvious gem there. And there's our famous 39 plus 15 again. Remember we were commenting on how frequently that shows up because 39 is three times the sixth prime and 15 is three times the third prime. So it's just perfect three fest. Um, uh, wow. Zoom into the universe. Web. That's so huge. So... <laughs> That, that, is, that is very stunning, you know. Let's leave that there. So, can you find love in the universe? Ah, can you find love in the cosmos? I know cosmos divides by three, um, but can we find 54? Um, cosmos, there's three letters that don't divide by three that knit together to make 51. Oh my goodness, this was worth the price of admission, folks. Look at this. Look at this. So the three plus ones that knit together equal 51, and then grab the C in front, the three. Oh my goodness, that equals love. Oh my. And then you are perfectly left with the two O's on top of that as bonus threes all by themselves. That is amazing. There, we just solved the cosmos in the name of love. So, all together, the letters that are underlined equal love perfectly in a tri-fork pitching, okay? And by the way, the golden arches of McDonald's twice by three perfectly. <laughs> so in this, in this lovely tri-fold spacing and the word trident, a trident, you know that with three prongs, a trident twice by three. We're finding love in everything. Can you find love in a trident? Sure you can. <laughs> yeah, TNT. TNT equals love. And then, oh my goodness, trident is love plus half a love plus another nine. That's 90 perfectly. I, I love how, I love how the, so, so here's like a trident. Imagine this was like an actual full-on trident here, which we were just describing. So a trident upside down, of course, it's kind of like a pitchfork. So this is our trident here, you know. Boom, let's, let's, let's actually draw this well here. So here's our trident, a trident. A three-pronged, three-pronged pitchfork. <clears throat> so there's our trident on Cosmos. The word trident is TNT equals love plus nine plus nine plus double nine, <laughs> which adds to 90. <laughs> Amazing. So we've got a trident on, on the word cosmos that uh, the letters that are underlined in green equal love. Um, and then you've got the two O's, which are king for the number three left over. <laughs> so you find Jehovah by just adding one O and then add another O on top to make it 84. All factor eight numbers, simple set those. Good night for eight and three. 
So, can you find love in the universe? Yes, you can. Can you find love in the cosmos? Yes, you can. In the most stunningly beautiful ways possible. Um, <laughs> ooh, I know a big one we need to find love in. Polaris, the official name of the North Star, the most important navigational star, because it's the one that sits still, all the rest of it spin around. So we're going to get Polaris on the board. Uh, I love, and we're taking you to the universe, the celestial bodies. Um, we should find love in an astronomer. That's, that's another epic, large thinking. Um, so let's continue our zoom here. Let's find love in um, Polaris. It's the official name of the... This, is, this one I like a lot because it's again a trident concept, just like Cosmos, where you've got three letters that don't divide by three in the perfect pitchfork position. The center letter and the two rooks, two bookends, rooks divides by three by the way, uh, come together to make 36, okay, which divides by nine. And then you've got 27 right here, the first two letters of Love divides by nine, and then you've got another 27 right here. Wow, that was worth the price of admission. Amazing. Amazing. <laughs> Polaris, the North Star. Remember those time-lapse photos of the night sky where you see the circles of stars in rings? Well, at the dead center, like a bullseye in a target, is Polaris. Right in the bullseye. God's not going to pass this one up <laughs> for his glory. Polaris, amazingly, the letters that divide by a three are 27 plus 27 equals love in perfectly symmetrical position. And what's even more glorious about that is they all divide by three individually going up in threes. Listen, nine plus 12 plus 15 plus 18. That's the four numbers that go up in threes, starting with nine. That is insane. <laughs> nine plus 12 plus 15 plus 18. Remember those uh, questions in grade school where they asked you, what's the next number in the series? <laughs> well, now you know why you did those questions. <laughs> Here it is. <laughs> Polaris, 27 plus 27, and then there's just another nine fest in the three letters that had to knit together, making 36, which divides by nine. So you know what the grand total is. 54 plus 36 are two perfect puzzle pieces that equal 90 equals trident. And 90 is king for the number 3 because the word king in Hebrew equals 90. Malek. And look at the trident effect. Trident equals 90 in Polaris. Boom, boom. I love, I'm an artist, and I love drawing things wherever I can because whenever you draw things, it's just beauty and and also people remember it more. And the more time you meditate on things, the more you remember it. So when I'm actually drawing a trident here over Polaris, I'm cementing in my mind that Polaris equals trident, equals 90. Okay, so a trident with three spokes. The word arrow, by the way, divides by three. Three arrow. Touching the three letters that do not divide by three. Those letters add to... 36, I'm going to circle them nicely in red. I love creating beauty. That's what artists do. So there you have, this is turning out to be quite the beautiful board, is it not? I mean, we've got Polaris on the right, we've got the cosmos on the left, we've got the universe, Christ in the center. I'd say this is quite beautiful. <laughs> um, Man, I need to like purchase a trident and like keep one in my house. Um, okay, so and by the way, uh, the word arrow, every center letter divides by three, and the bookends make twenty-four, triple eight. Okay, um, so seventy-five is twelve. So Polaris is the name, the official name of the North Star, which is at the dead center of all the stars that spin around. So, I mean, it's just an obvious gem. <laughs> when you look at one of those time-lapse photos, okay, that's the North, that's Polaris at the center. So, let's stay in universe land. Let's solve an astronomer. 
Okay, because obviously it was an astronomer that named these things by divine ordinance, and astronomers that studied the universe and all this stuff. So we're going to um, get the word astronomer on the board. I'm going to remove the word trident now that we have it memorized and it's sitting up there. And we're going to find love in astronomer. I know astronomer divides by three. Oh, and simultaneously, how about astronaut? Because I know astronaut divides by three as well. And Neil Alden Armstrong, who was the first astronaut to set foot on the moon, his full birth name adds perfectly to the famous 201, which is triple eight by the law of prime by deduction. 201 is a three digit all factor eight number, thereby simultaneously both glorifying three and eight. The three digits of 201 add to three perfectly. And it is a triple of 67s. Okay, well, 67 equals water, and watch this, 67 is the 19th prime, and 19 is the 8th prime, 8. So you have three of them, 8, 8, 8. That's the full breakdown, okay? Neil Alden Armstrong, the famous 201 of world history. He is an astronaut, okay? So let's, let's, let's find love in astronaut, and let's find love in astronomer. Both of these divinely ordained occupations divide by three, but our task at this present hour, on this 27th day of April, 27, the first and second half of love. It's to find love in astronomer and astronomer and astronaut. All inquiring minds want to know, can we find love in an astronomer? Of course we can. And can we find love in an astronaut? Of course we can. If we can't find love in our astronauts, where can we find love? Okay, um, so let's try and find nines. That's always a, you know, R is double nine, R is double nine. N, M is together to make 27, triple nine. Okay. Um, you got the famous 39 plus 15 combo staring us in the face in both of these words. ST is very hard to resist. The marriage couple made in heaven that hang out everywhere. Um, and then they can couple with an O to make 54 equals love. Okay. Um, um, I'm feeling like that's... You could, and then you can get 45 by, the, rem the remainder of the letters that don't divide by 3, you can cluster together and make 45. So amazingly, again, the whole, all the letters that don't divide by 3 in astronomer make a multiple of 9, which is stunning. 27 right there, plus, um, just get this all, uh, 24 plus 21, 45. 27 plus 45, wow! All the letters that do not divide by 3 in astronomer perfectly equal 72 or triple or triple eights. Somebody say wow. And then, the letters that do add another 33 plus 33. You got two O's and two R's, the only letters that don't divide by three. I mean, this is just ordained by heaven. So, what does all that come to? 105 plus 33, 138 is the grand total. So that means we can find two loves plus an additional 30 points. So if we subtract 30 points from the beginning, can we find the two loves left over? Um, it was wonderful that we started in nine land. Um, but let's find the 254s now. Um, you know what? The two O's are 15 plus 15. I'm inclined to, to pop those off. That's our 30 points that we're popping out. And we're left with exactly 108, to which we can split into 54, 54. So that's what I'm going to attempt right here. Did you know that words are like diamonds that can be cut into smaller diamonds? And the word word equals diamond. So that's how you're to think of words. They are like large diamonds that you can then cut into smaller diamonds. Okay, and it takes a very careful, you know, accuracy. You want, you want to cut it nicely. You want to cut it beautifully, okay? So that's what we're doing. We're cutting the diamond word astronomer into love plus love plus 15 plus 15, okay? So, which, ah, which is going to equal glory of glories. This is the first time I have ever had this realization. That equals Jehovah plus Jehovah perfectly. In the exact same fashion that Jehovah's name is built, with an O wrapped in love. So if we achieve splitting astronomer into love plus love plus O plus O, we have perfectly split astronomer into Jehovah plus Jehovah. And we've already done it because I can see it in my mind. The ST plus the A and M equals 54 equals love. The rest of the letters equals love plus O plus O. It's been done. Yes. Okay, so here it is. ST plus AN 
adds to love number one. You know, I'm going to change colors here. Eight, even though red is the king of colors, I've been using it so much. You know what? For the glory of the color red in this moment, let's push through with the red. Come on, red, you got life in you. Um, there, there's love number one, A-S-T-N. And then the rest over letters, oh, that's beautiful. Somebody say, oh, because O oh is God's favorite letter to glorify number three. Oh, that's beautiful. Because then we're left with three 18s. Yes. R plus R plus M-E. And me, of course, is God's favorite word to end every sentence with because it is all about him. <laughs> God will say to all of us, worship me. And we're like, yes, <laughs> it's all about him. Um, so 18 plus 18, what's left over is R plus R plus me. 18 plus 18 plus 18. Wow. So if I can just write those two teams and then literally, you've, and then you've got the two O's left over. So literally we have achieved in slicing astronomer into Jehovah plus Jehovah. Wow, that is very precious, and that is very, very beautiful and expensive. And then, as for a very famous astronomer in world history, um, there is a man who I will leave you to find for yourself, whose full birth name adds perfectly to 240. Okay? A very famous Christian astronomer, whose full birth name adds perfectly to 240. Okay, I will lead you to find out who that is. Um, I'll give you a hint. He's not alive right now. <laughs> okay? <laughs> um, okay, so those teams are A-S-T-N equals love, number one. And then R-M-E-R -E equals love, number two. And then you have the two O's left over. So O up here plus O up there. So astronomer equals Jehovah plus Jehovah. So just so the writing is on the wall, we're actually going to write that down here for the glory of Jehovah, who is sovereign God. Astronomer equals Jehovah plus Jehovah. And Jesus is Jehovah. Do the math on that three-word phrase I just spoke. It divides by three stunningly. Jesus is Jehovah. Messiah is Jehovah. Jesus equals Messiah. Okay? Christ is Jehovah. Christ is three points higher than Jesus, so Christ is Jehovah divides by three. Okay? <laughs> and then you can say Jehovah is the king because the king equals Jesus equals Messiah equals gospel equals cross equals element, equals aurora, equals energy, equals some of the famous, most famous words in words. Okay. So, astronomer equals Jehovah plus Jehovah, and we found the two loves and the two O's. Because remember, the only letter in Jehovah that divides by three is the O at dead center. And then every pair of letters moving out makes a multiple of three to add to love perfectly. Okay? So, Jehovah equals O plus love in the most dramatic fashion possible. And we just found that in astronomer. ASTN equals love, R-M-E-E-R. -E we, we split it into nice, even teams. Look at that. We got four letters adding to love. Another four letters adding to love. Okay. And then we have the two O's left over. Just like Jehovah is O plus love, O plus love. That is exceeding glory, and the current date and time for historic purposes is 12.36 p.m., April 27th, 2015, in Langley, British Columbia, Canada. And my name is Derek Leonard Reinhardt Kubi. Okay, so, astronomer, Jehovah plus Jehovah. Okay. And then, teams of threes that you can find, and that is 15, the famous 15 plus 39. Remember, I've been commenting on that one? There it is, right there. 39, three times... 13, which is 3 times the 6th prime. 15, 3 times 5, which is 3 times the 3rd prime. They're just a marriage couple made in heaven. You see them everywhere. That's what we see right here. Okay, And then you can also do 21 plus 33 to equal that love. And this is just a triple of 18s. It's like, good night. <laughs> that is shocking. That is shocking. Shocking beyond reason. Okay, so now that we've um, found love, um, and then, again, folks, always count the number of letters and the number of strokes. Okay. So the number of letters is 10. By the way, the word 10, when you speak it, T-E-N, divides by 3 equals 39. <laughs> and then you count the number of strokes. Do that for homework. Okay, astronaut. Can you find love in an astronaut? Of course you can. 
Um, and by the way, the word full moon equals love plus love, and you can find the 427s in four pairs of letters, in eight letters perfectly. Do that right now with a pen and paper if you have not done this before. Write the eight letters of full moon and find the 427s in the letters. Find the two, full moon equals love plus love. Uh, I encourage you to do that one, okay? So, astronaut. Let's find love in astronaut. Okay. Um, well, we could go the same route that we did with astronomer. We could go ASTM. That gives us love number one. Uh, but, oh, wait a second. Yeah, that's beautiful. And then you've got O-U-R. Good night. You know, that was fast. I just did it the same way. So, amazing. Amazing. So there's love plus love plus 21 left over. So astronaut equals 129 divides by 3. We found, we found love plus love. Oh my goodness. So now look. Look at what we've just found. In astronaut, there are only three letters that divide by 3 individually. And lo and behold, they are the famous O-U-R. The word our. Incidentally, if you are a leader, you should use the word our a lot because it is a unifying word. Our is king. Our equals love. In three letters that divide by three, here it is. 15 plus 18 plus 21. They go up in threes. O-R-U. Okay, those are the only three letters in astronaut that divide by three. They equal love perfectly. Balance, see that? 15 plus 18 plus 21 is an average of 18 plus 18 plus 18, what we found up here. Stunning. Very stunning. So, that's the most obvious love that you find in astronaut. <laughs> Look at the letters that do divide by three. There's three of them. They're the very famous ones that are equal R. And by, by the way, folks, by Divine Ornus, the park that just opened, I made videos on it yesterday. Um, the, yesterday was Sunday. Today is Monday, by the way. How fitting. How fitting. Monday, the word Monday comes from Moon Day. And yesterday was Sunday, which of course comes from Sun Day. God is sovereign. The seven days of the week in English divide by three. Add them together. But Sunday divides by three.